A state of emergency has been declared in Charleston, West Virginia, as hundreds of thousands of people have been left without water. Effective immediately, a do not use is in effect. Where hours ago residents learned that their water had been contaminated by a chemical known as 4-methylcyclohexane methanol. For all West Virginia American water customers in the following county. Freedom Industries has spilled a chemical known as 4-MCHM into the Elk River. Boom. Look guys, it's been an extremely long day. I'm having a hard trouble talking. Clay. Over 75,000 gallons of this industrial chemical used to clean coal in a process known as froth flotation have been emptied into the Elk River, which supplies the drinking water for the majority of the Kanawha Valley. Jackson. Now what I want to know is, who allowed this to happen? Reports show that these chemical storage tanks haven't been inspected for, for the better part of a decade. No. So what's the timeline on all of this? We, uh, we were made aware of the storage tanks leaking at 10.30. Look, we, um, we regularly load tanker trucks with this material, and occasionally we have received reports of an odor previously. Lincoln, Logan. The effects of this chemical on humans have never been studied. Putnam, Monroe, as well as the flooded area of Cabell County. We've already received reports that grocery stores and gas stations as far away as Huntington are sold out of bottled water. President Obama has declared this a national emergency. There's no systems in place to alert you of a leak at your facilities other than a smell. Look, at this moment in time, I think that's all we have time for. Um, thank you all for coming. Uh, thank you for your time. We have whoa, 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 whoa! The West Virginia National Guard has been activated and FEMA is on its way to relief. Bottled water supplies in the area are low and tensions are high. I repeat, high. do not drink the water, do not bathe in the water, and do not wash dishes with the water. A chemical known as methylcyclohexane methanol, or MCHM, has spilled into the Elk River at approximately 8.50 a.m. At this time, we do not know the effects it's okay. of this chemical. Hey kids, get down here. Mother and I need to talk with you. Okay, listen. There was a chemical spill in the river this morning. For the time being, don't drink any of the water from the sink and do not take a shower, okay? Now we're gonna be fine. We got plenty of bottled water stocked up in the basement. Oh no, so I just changed the water in the fishbowl. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, let's get him some fresh bottled water. What is it, Dad? I think Mrs. Fishy bit me. <coughs> blah, blah, blah. Whoa! Kill a catfish deep in the canal. Oh, kill a catfish. There's something. Something's wrong. Charleston's got a problem lurking in the canal, waiting for some fishermen or swimmers to come along. It's got a taste for human flesh and whiskers five foot long. So get yourself to dry land, cause something's very wrong. Whoa! Killing catfish! Killing catfish! Deep in the canal! There's something, something very wrong. wrong. Whoa! Something's wrong. Once it gets its gills on you, you're good as gobbled down. You can try to get away, but you may as well have drowned. This West Virginia terror don't sound like nothing bad. But once you see its whiskers, you'll turn and swim for land. Whoa! Kill a catfish! Kill a catfish! Something very wrong. There's something wrong. So very wrong. There's something wrong. Wrong. Glad you came down to visit. I'm glad I came. I don't think I could spend the whole summer apart. Oh, shut up. No, I'm serious. It's three months. Three and a half, almost four. Whatever. <laughs>
<laughs> what are you doing? Um, putting my feet in the water. What? What? It's refreshing. It's the canal. Oh, uh, is there something I need to know about the canal? Oh, uh, well, yeah, it's kind of filthy, and then there was like this chemical spill, and. Oh. I heard about that like a year and a half ago. Yeah, but still. It's all good. I'll just wash my feet when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> Was that you? What? Did you just tickle my feet? <laughs> no, your feet are in the water. You couldn't pay me to touch that river. Are you messing with me? No, I'm not. That water is filthy. There it was again. Andy, if you're making this up. I swear, I'm, I'm not messing with you. Andy! 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 Daddy! Daddy, Andy fell into the river. I told him not to put his feet in. I don't know what to do. I didn't think that he would. Search and rescue is the word of the day after 21-year-old Andrew Kimes went missing from this downtown boat dock last night around 10 p.m. when his girlfriend Kira McConnell saw him fall into the water. Though law enforcement has had search boats in the water as early as 30 minutes after the boy's disappearance, there is still no sign to indicate Mr. Kimes' fate. I tell you, Jeremiah, I ain't seen a fish in hours. Should've died, you ain't caught a fish in three years. Hey, you ain't caught nothing either. Well, yeah, it's because you're scaring all the fish away. Shut up. Hey. Hey, Jed, I think I got one. Oh boy, it's a big one. Hey, Jed, help me out with this. Shoot, I ain't helping you out with nothing. Scare the fish away. Come on, man, I mean, I'm gonna lose this one. Oh well. Jeremiah! What seems to be a shocking coincidence, the Kanawha River has claimed yet another victim, less than 24 hours after police have given up search for Andrew Kimes. Local fisherman Jeremiah Jenkins was seemingly pulled overboard after a fish had hooked onto his line. As with the disappearance of Kimes, the search for Mr. Jenkins has thus far been unsuccessful. Sarge, got another one. What? Jeremiah Jenkins, age 19. His brother said he hooked a big fish, pulled him overboard. We've had search and rescue out for about 24 hours now. There's something in that water. Get me Jason McCraw. Sergeant Crutchfield? You must be Dr. McCraw. Um, Sergeant, I'm a little bit confused. It's not every day the police need help from a freshwater marine biologist. Oh. It used to be every day that people were disappearing into the river. Excuse me? Andrew Kimes, age 21. 
was visiting from out of state when his girlfriend said he put his feet in the water and got sucked in. We searched all night and all day. We didn't find anything, but a few shreds of his clothes. Jeremiah Jenkins, 19, out fishing with his brother. Fish pulled the line, pulled a little harder, pulled him overboard. 24-hour search didn't turn up anything but a shredded bandana and a crushed can of snuff. Doctor, something is in this water. We've got to figure out what it is. God, I'll get right on it. Here's the evidence we've collected so far. A water sample. Let me attack it. Okay. Um, I'll run some tests tonight, and I'll call you in the morning. And doctor. Sergeant? The mayor has asked that we keep this between you and the department. It could be nothing. It could be a freshwater shark. It could be two isolated incidents of clumsiness. It could be anything in between. But if this gets out, even if it is nothing, there will be panic. Understood? Uh, understood. Four methyl-cyclohexane methanol, it causes no changes in human beings. The fish. It makes them aggressive. And one species is particularly vulnerable. Catfish. I know it sounds crazy, but think about it. People have been pulling 50-pound fish out of that river for years. And between the MCHM and all the other chemicals in the water, Sergeant, we have a serious problem. I'll take these findings to the mayor. Mayor? Lisa, we have to call the Coast Guard. There is a fish in the water that is eating people. Look, I'll advise the mayor that this is your suggested course of action, but we don't want to panic now, do we? Yes, we do. We need people to avoid the water like their lives depend on it because, because they do. If your findings are confirmed. Lisa, we've already had two people pulled into the water whose remains are covered in catfish saliva. What more proof do you need? We need that fish. Then let's go get it. 
Jedediah Jenkins? Maybe. What's it to you? You know what killed your brother. Excuse me? My, my name is Dr. Jason McCraw. I'm the marine biologist that analyzed the, the remains that the police cut out of the river. It was a catfish. Is this some kind of a joke? Ain't no catfish gonna take down a Jenkins boy. Certainly not Jeremiah. It, it wasn't just any catfish. Look, after the chemical spill happened, I don't know what it was, but it did something to the fish. It made them bigger, and it made them aggressive. And your brother wasn't the only one. Some other guy was pulled down just the other day, and I found the same catfish DNA on the shreds of his clothing. We need to stop this thing. Wait. What do you mean, wait? I need a boat. Well, it ain't my boat. You're gonna have to talk to Uncle JJ. Let's go get that thing that killed my nephew. All right. Set sail in the morning. 0800. Hello? Jason, who did you tell? What? No, no, I haven't told anybody. Well, uh, I just told the Jenkins brothers, but only so I could get their boat. We have a situation down here at City Hall. I'll be right there. And kill it? No! We have to bring it in safely so we can prove it exists and so this doesn't happen again. But it killed Andrew and that other guy. They deserve justice. It's a fish, Kira. It's the creature of nature. There is nothing natural about a catfish big enough to kill a person. Well, you can think what you want, but we're going to bring it in alive. Fine. One more question. When do we set sail? Turn of events. A third missing persons incident has occurred upon the Kanawha River this week. While police have yet to release the name of these victims, sources report that two middle-aged men seem to have vanished after last being seen heading down the river for a canoeing trip. While hey, no Dad? official sources have... Can you sign this permission slip for a class field trip tomorrow? Yeah, sure, son. Where are you going? It's for my environmental science class. Uh, we're going down to the river to take some water samples. What? I know. It's just like what you do. Yeah. But it's supposed to rain tomorrow, and you're going to get your new shoes all muddy. Your mother and I paid a lot of money for those. Don't worry. I was going to wear my rain boots tomorrow. Okay. Look, Henry. I don't want to say anything to you guys, but there is something in that water. And the city's hired me to figure out what it is. And I think it... Do you remember last year when your sister's fish bit me? Yeah. Well, that chemical, MCHM, it is something to the fish in the river. And now two or three people have already disappeared, and I don't want you taking that risk. Dinner time! Hey, 
Hey, honey, what kind of meat is this? Your favorite, catfish. Permission to come aboard, sir. Permission granted. Welcome aboard, Doc. Thank you. What's that for? For killing that fish abomination that killed my brother. That's your plan? Gonna shoot it with a rifle? Yes, sir. That's not my plan. Well, Doc, it ain't your boat. It ain't your boat either, Jed. That man did a lot of book learning on fish. I think we ought to listen to him. Right. So, in this cooler, Got a large bag of bologna. And it's poisoned, right? What? No. So, so it's got like, it's got like a fish bomb in it. No, it's a regular pack of bologna I brought at the grocery store. We're gonna use it as bait. For the fish? Ah. Uh... Okay. So, I mapped out an area based on the sites of the previous attacks. Once we get there, we're gonna take this bologna, put it on the hook, and then we're gonna put it in the water. Then you look. Going to get a bite, and and that's when I shoot it. No. So we're, then we're going, we're going, we're going reel it in, and then we're going to slit its throat. No, and, and fish don't even have throats. What? Are we going to cut its head off? No, we are not going to kill this fish. We need to bring it in alive to study it, and so that the mayor knows that it actually exists. Uh... Now, say this with me. We are going to bring this fish in alive. He's a convincing man, isn't he? Who's she? JJ, Jedediah. This is Kira McConnell. Her boyfriend was the other victim of the fish. She's gonna be joining us today. Let's set sail. And it's Captain JJ to you. <laughs> yes, sir. Now we wait. You know any fishing songs, Doc? Fishing songs? Yeah, that's what you do. You cast your line, pop up a cold beer, drink, sing some fishing songs. Speaking of that, you got any cold beer in that cooler? No. Well, it's a good thing I brought my own. Uncle JJ, can't you take this seriously? We're out here trying to make some meaning out of Jeremiah's death and you're out here acting like it's a Sunday fishing trip. Well, the last time I checked, most Sundays we didn't get our bait from Oscar Meyer. And last Sunday we didn't get our tackle from the hardware store. And the last time I checked, the safety of everyone who set foot in this river didn't depend on... Oh! Ow! That's our fish! Captain JJ, full throttle! Let's get this beastie back to town where the world can see it! JJ! Why are we moving? It's pulling too hard! I'm giving it all she's got! We tried doing this your way, it didn't work! Hold on! JJ, full stop! Well, what else is there to do? Let it go, let it kill somebody else, we have it! Stop. 
here, Uncle JJ. It's fish stew for dinner. Whoa! Kill a catfish! It's a bittersweet day here in Charleston as we celebrate victory over the mutant catfish that has claimed so many lives on our beloved river. A crew made up of the victim's loved ones set out earlier this morning to bring justice to it. Sadly, freshwater marine biologist Dr. Jason McCraw, who was the first to discover the link between the disappearances and the catfish, was lost in the fight. Dr. McCraw is remembered by his wife Julie, his son Henry, and daughter Hannah. Although Dr. McCraw's research remains largely unfinished, Early results point to this monstrosity being the residual effect of the 2014 Elk River chemical spill. Stay tuned to WCRW for more on this developing story. Once it gets its gills on you, you're good as gobbled down. You can try to get away, but you may as well have drowned. This West Virginia terror don't sound like nothing bad. But once you see its whiskers, you'll turn and swim for land. Whoa, kill a catfish, kill a catfish. deep in the canal. Something very wrong. There's something wrong. So very wrong. There's something wrong. No, your feet are in the water. You can pay me to touch them. You can. I got me a Brit. Chemical known as methyl. Blah blah blah. But the four methyl cycling. That was even before they spilled the HCMH. Now, MCHM. MCH. But the four cyclohexane methanol? Methyl. Methyl. Contaminated with a chemical known as. with. Ugh, sorry. The four cyclohexane. <laughs> <laughs> as with the search for chymes. Okay. Now what? My name's Aaron Stahl. I'm the star of. <laughs> It ain't your boat either, Jed. I Hold didn't on, think to have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> After a chemical leak contaminated this, the... Years ago, residents learned that their drinking water had been contaminated. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. What is that? What? Where is it? Cut! Oh, Good. Oh, God! Uh -oh. Or not. Yeah, I think I'm going to make a song about being an adult and it be like that. <laughs> <laughs> Car broke down. Bought a truck, making payments every month. <laughs> Where hours ago residents learned. Blah, 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 sorry. I'm gonna throw this baloney on the hook. We're gonna put it in the water. Think luck. Fire gonna get fire. <laughs> Uncle JJ. Can't. Uh. <laughs> and last Sunday we been with <laughs> him. We didn't buy our bait from the power. <laughs> <laughs> but it's refreshing. Did you cut, Austin, or am I crazy? What? No, you're good. Oh, I thought you cut. Hi. I heard We're gonna be okay. We got, we're stocked up on bottles of water. Um, it's only that, we really need to probably go to the store and pick up a little bit of food because we're not gonna be able to go to any restaurants for a while. I'm just vamping right here. You gotta say something. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, your feet are in the water. You can pay me to touch that river. All right. If, if we could wrap this up, I tell you what, next- We have no. a lot. We actually have a lot of- JJ, full stop! I have a line. JJ, why aren't we moving? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we tried this your way. I'm saying the wrong line. <laughs> Hold on! It's your line. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. There's something in that river. Get me jog- jog- <laughs> <laughs> Forgot the kid's name. Brother said he uh, hooked up a. That was good, right? All right. Hands in pockets, hands out. Uh, I can't see your your hands. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You could have. All right, go ahead and walk in with it. Them maracas in your hands right now for like. <laughs> I swear I'm not making anything off. <laughs>